Hey pals and gals, so I was looking at this Illustrator tutorial that I uh, uploaded and not really completed but you know took a look at it and wanted to see what else I could do with it um, besides turning it into just a portrait, maybe just a little Illustrator piece, maybe just a little icon, something with this because I just felt like that eye was really standing out to me in some kind of way. So uh, it's not really a tutorial, I will be talking through what I'm thinking of doing. I'm not going to be particularly organized because I'm doing this on the fly uh, and it's, I'm basically just going to do what comes to mind. Um, so hopefully you'll pick up some, you know, tips or tricks or, you know, nifty things or you can do the exact same thing. I don't know, get something for your portfolio or something for fun or something for later to, to keep you reminded of this. I don't know. So let's uh, get started. Uh, I already have opened my Illustrator file where I began working on this. I think I ended up tweaking, you know, but adding more lashes and moving them around and making them look a little bit fuller. Um, so from here, I want to go ahead and add, um, maybe I wanna, I think I wanna change the color of the eyes because I, I made them realistic at this point. I made them, you know, uh, bluer. Uh, so I, I'm going to change them back to that purple that I originally had it in, in the tutorial itself. I thought it was a very striking purple, so I, I really like that. Um, let's change all of this from that blue hue to purple, like so. I'm just uh, selecting my paths and then clicking on their colors and just shifting the hues upwards so I can get a more purple color out of them. I'm fairly certain that's pretty close to the purple that I had. I still think it's a little dark, but I'm not too worried. And then I'm also noticing that this black and that black are two different blacks. So I'm gonna take a look at that first. Let's, uh, okay, that is not a pure black. Yeah, I was right make it a pure black there we go what about you you're a pure black maybe yes it is oh wait this one no get, get in there uh, uh, uh. I will be red. okay I really am done with the what that's what she said jokes like it just I don't know why it just always happens to occur while I'm editing I think it's hilarious and it just Anyways, moving on. Uh, fix that. Looks good. And so now I think I want to add the white of the eyes. I'm going to make a new layer. And actually, I better name all these layers. So let's name this Lashes and then that Eyeball. Or just Eye. And this one I'm going to put underneath and I'm going to name it White. Even though it's really not going to be white, the only thing that should be white are the highlights, or at least, you know, where you want your eye to go towards. So under white, I'm going to hide, let's take, let's hide the eye, and let's hide some of the lashes, the bottom and the top, all these little lines here, and all of that. Okay, so actually we're left with something rather nice. I'm fairly certain I did, I did, oh, 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 I'm gonna make a copy of that path and drag it onto my whites, and now let's bring back everything on this layer, but let's hide it now, like so. So now I have this baby, I'm gonna do that. Um, now, like I said, I didn't really want a pure white, I'm gonna go for a light gray. Why, you ask? Because it will look white uh, in comparison to the rest of the work and, you know, just trust me, just do it. Because I said so. I'm just kidding. Uh, see? Not thoroughly believable and actually it's almost pretty close to her natural eye color. But we're not going to be focused on the realism here. So what I'm going to do is add another layer. I'm going to name this, I don't know, background, BG. And I'm going to make, let's pick one of the eye colors. Uh, this eye looks good. I like that color. 
I'm gonna copy that. That might be a little too dark. I might go for the lighter one. Okay, let's see how it looks first. Background. Let's do a shape. And let's do... I might as well go big. Go big or go home. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. I still think it would look better with a lighter color. So let's see. Mm, that's a little too blue. That's pretty purple. Let's see. Is that you? Oh, maybe. It is he. Oh. Nice copy of that. Background. Let's change it to that. Uh, no. Maybe. How about something in between those? dramatic but needs to look a little bit lighter. Too bright. Too dark. That's just right. I feel like the the little uh, Goldilocks. That bird is too small. And you know what? We'll get back to that. I'll maybe house. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to hide that path, and I'm going to create a little bit of highlights in the eyes, give them a little depth. I'm not going like I said. I'm not going for super realism at this one. I'm just going to make it a little cartoonish. Have a little fun with it. So get on our white layer make a blood brush a little bit smaller and I'm using my um, parentheses brackets I'm using the brackets on the key um, to choose out my blood brush and I'm gonna select a dark well not a pure white but a light gray and I'm just gonna kind of create this little triangle shape and it's definitely not close to being perfect so what I'm going to do is select it with my direct select tool or my selection tool really won't matter and I'm going to get the pencil tool and I'm just going to you know smooth it out maybe not that much if you make a mistake you know control C or command Z and it's uh, much better okay and now let's smooth you out this way and I think one of the things that you, we all need to learn is how to properly smooth. Okay. And now I'm going to use my warp tool and also warp some of this. And actually I can make my brush a little bit smaller like so I'm just going to do a little bit of that and go back to my smoothing tool and yes I could use the pen tool but you know what I like the blob tool so if you like the pen tool which you know I, yeah, the pen tool is my BFF, but, you know, sometimes you gotta give your BFF a break. You know, you gotta say, hey, listen, it's been fun, I just don't want to talk to you right now. Um, this tutorial thing would, might not be uploaded, just saying. I don't know how helpful it will be. If it's not helpful, you know, I won't feel... I won't feel bad if you guys let me know. Hey, yo, wait, don't, don't do that. Stop it. Because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, 
Haha. <laughs> you gotta select it if you wanna whip it. I'm okay with that. Let's add back the one we hid. And I think this little one needs to be almost a pure white. If not a pure white. That's a little distracting. Maybe not a pure white. Okay. And now this needs to be a lighter gray. Like so. Yeah, that looks much nicer. Yay! Now what I want to do is add the line above the lash line, the crease of the eye. I'm not actually going to go ahead and put that under lashes, but I will hide them so that I can see what I'm doing. Like so. And I'm going to get my, my pen tool. You know, rest was long enough, I guess. <laughs> And I'm going to do this like so, and I'm going to make the line black, and then what I want to do is change the path shape yeah. invert this. Maybe. Not. No. There we go. Okay. What I was doing is flipping the direction of the brush. If you notice, the fat side was on like that. And I did not like that one bit. I wanted it the other way. I wanted the skinny side over here. Add all this back. Oh, of course. Yes. Joy genius because I decided to change everything so let's do this instead let's go from here to here why do you ask? so that you don't have to redo all your brushes because ain't nobody got time for that There we go. Add all these back. Bam. I brought time. I'm gonna put that under lashes. It's hair. It counts. Blob tool? Maybe. Maybe definitely not. Let's see. Oh no. Pen tool. So don't judge me, I can't draw a straight line. But I'm not worried. That's why they invented the pen tool and control Z and rulers. Because sometimes life is just uh, needs tweaking. just following the contours of the eyebrow. I'm not being too perfect. Like I said, I'm just doing this on the fly. Hmm. This could use some work. I'm going to get my direct select tool. Actually, I'm going to get my lasso. Well, what is called? Lasso. Lasso and lasso up these points and I'm gonna get them in a little bit closer like so go back to my smoothing tool get this all nice and smooth like so and now I'm gonna fill it in black and take a look at how the line looks okay it's still not as smooth as I would like it to be 
So go back to my smoothing tool. Get it where I want it to be. Much better. And now this point bothers me just a little bit. There we go. Much better. Another point here. There we go. Hello. Little point. Here. So basically what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to tilt my entire image here and let's get rid of that path. I'm going to rotate this entire image to, you know, go so like that. And then maybe change my background little square to make my canvas, you know, like so. Maybe a little bit tighter. I think Jermaine, Jermaine would make a wonderful... Uh, purple Hulk sexy cartoon person and you know what it may not be realistic but it would definitely make a very interesting cartoon at this point I think what I would want to do is maybe add a little bit of eyeshadow purple eyeshadow maybe a little highlight on the eye and maybe a little highlight on the brow but I think in terms of showing you what you can do Besides uh, realism, I think this is a pretty good looking eye. Um, a plus, you know, the purple, you can't go wrong with purple. Purple is the most magnificent royal color that could possibly ever be. Yes, I do love the color purple. Not a bulker movie, you know. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts or, you know, you might want to just say, hey, you always stop. Be organized. We like the organized ones better. You can let me know. I won't be offended. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.